Yahshua, he does not play around. He doesn't just tell us whatever it is that we want to hear. He tells us what we need to hear. Okay, his word cuts deep. And people don't like to feel hurt. They don't like the truth because the truth hurts. But the truth shall set you free. It will take the veil from off of your eyes and let you see the truth and let you see the world for how it really is. He is so amazing. I would doubt him never. Psalms 91, I am hiding in his feathers. Obedience, I am doing what him tell us. In the spirit, you can never cap like big letters. What is up, you guys? I am Key Love Scott. Welcome back to my channel where I help uplift, encourage, and inspire others on how to be the best versions of themselves. If you guys are new to my channel, please that subscribe button and notification bell so you can be not notified every time I post another video. So in this video today, you guys, I have uh, one of my subscribers requested that I make this video. I've made this one time before, um, but I wanted to make another one because I'm getting a lot more, you know, followers who are added to the channel and there's some videos that they have not seen. So this one is going to be about... Um, the two different types of Jesus, okay? Because a lot of people are not very aware of this because a lot of us don't read our scripture. A lot of us don't read the Bible. I used to be that way too, but as this world is growing more and more wicked and as the groaning pains of this earth are starting to labor more and more, just like pregnancy, I have been in my word like nobody's business, okay? So we are going to start off with what uh, is basically the Jesus of the Bible. The Jesus of the Bible, a.k.a. Yahshua HaMashiach, um, a.k.a. Yahweh, he brings division, okay? Now, with the God of this earth, or with the Jesus of this earth, he is going to be uh, bringing unity. Everything is love. Everyone do what you want to do. If you want to be gay and you want to marry a gay person, then, you know, that's fine. And whereas the Jesus of the Bible says, no, God made Adam and Eve. There should be no Adam and Steve, you know, and a lot of people get mad about that. And a lot of people don't want to hear that. So they want to turn to the Lord case G God because they want to do what they want to do. Like Aleister Crowley said, do what thou wilt. That's what they want to do. Um, Jesus of the Bible preaches on false apostles. He says that many will come in my name for such people are false prophets, deceitful workers masquerading as apostles of Christ. And no wonder for Satan himself masqueraded as an angel of light. It is not surprising then if his servants also masquerade as servants of righteousness. Their end will be what their actions deserve. So, I want to stop right there for a minute because there's a lot of false apostles that I see out here on this earth that come in the form of preachers, that come in the form of celebrities, especially where you guys are seeing a lot of people saying that they turn their lives over, lives over to Jesus Christ. Um, like Justin Bieber was one of them. Um, Kanye West, he came out and said that as well. Um, and there was probably some other people, but those are the two that I can think of right off the top of my head where they are basically they literally sold their soul to the devil they're in the music industry and we both know how you know deceitful and how wicked the music industry and hollywood in general is which reminds me of this scripture that where um god was literally saying how you can um basically tell what kind of tree it is based off of their fruit for um, a good tree can't produce bad fruit and a bad tree can't produce good fruit, right? So if we know that these people have sold their souls already and you listen to the scriptures, I mean, not scriptures, but you listen to what their lyrics are to their songs, you can literally tell what kind of fruit they're bearing, right? So how can it be like from what the scripture says, a good tree cannot bear bad fruit so that should tell you what type of fruit they're bearing. And we can't just all of a sudden start listening to them all of a sudden, thinking that we can trust them and believe what they're saying. Therefore, they are false apostles, okay? And we're gonna go back to what the Jesus of the world is. Um, like I said, he, is, he comes to bring unity and he is forgiving of everyone. Like we hear a lot of celebrities say, I, 
thank God. That's like the first thing they say. I would like to thank God and my family for this Oscar. Oh, I want to thank God. And they always say, and thank God. And we're like, oh, that's so good. Like, see, they love God. They all right with me. No, they're not talking about the capital G God. Their God is a lowercase g God because anybody who is going to be in this worldly realm is not going to be highly promoted on tv their songs be highly promoted on tv and it's going to be anything positive for us anything that this world is pushing is going to be wicked okay because lucifer runs this world okay he is basically in charge of all this deception all of this confusion all of this media right so we can't just assume that these people who are singing about you know Oh, I don't I have to be very careful what I say on YouTube because you know they're really strict with things so I'm just trying to think of how to use these words without using these words but my whole point is that this earth is very dark and just like we are God's army you know our Heavenly Father we work on behalf of him so does Satan he has people who work on behalf of him and for him and those are who God is considering to be, you know, false prophets and false apostles because they're saying that they love God with all their hearts, minds, and souls and that they love Jesus. But it is not the Jesus and the God of the Bible. We got that part? Okay, good. Thumbs up if you got that part. Okay, um, Jesus of the earth speaks on wealth and prosperity and abundance and just love everyone love there's all paths to god you guys just take whatever you want and just go on your journey love whoever you want that is completely acceptable and that is okay i can give you you know just suggestions and you can do what you want to do at the end of the day because you have free will so do what you want to do where yahshua he's like no i set the standard I'm raising the standard on this earth. This is how you should live. This is what you should be doing. You shall not, you know, hate your brother. If you do, you live in darkness. You do not kill. You do not murder. You do not slander. You do not do this. You do not do that. You do not worship false idols. You do not, you know, cuss people out and have anger problems. He's telling us how to be above reproach, how to be the head and never the tail and how to live in abundance and how to get all that prosperity and all of that kind of stuff but with that he's also telling you that with every action that you choose with every choice and every decision that you make you will have to suffer the consequence for that and there is a heaven and there is a hell like and but with the jesus of this earth it's like oh there is no hell there's just reincarnation and there's just you'll just die and come back a different form of yourself no one will be afraid of dying and living their life and doing whatever they want to do recklessly if they knew that they could just die and come back as something else what if you hate your life and you want to come back a different person you want to be wanting to die so fast you ain't gonna know what to do because you don't have to put up with the crap in this world anymore see like it's okay i'll just die and i'll come back reincarnated not knowing that if you kill yourself, you're going to hell. So make it make sense. Now, the next one, the next point that I want to make is, again, like I said, the Jesus of this world just talks about reincarnation, whereas um, Yahshua, Jesus Christ, he talks about heaven and hell and he talks about sin and he raised the standard as to how we should live. He came to bring a sword and speaks on the second coming will be only to wipe out and banish the wickedness. If this world hates you, keep in mind that it hated me first. If you belong to the world, it will love you as its own. As it is, you do not belong to the world, but I have chosen you out of the world. That is why the world hates you. Remember what I told you, a servant is no greater than his master. If they persecuted me, they will persecute you. If they obeyed my teachings, they would obey yours. Um, and basically, Yahshua, he does not play around. He doesn't just tell us whatever it is that we want to hear. He tells us what we need to hear. Okay, his word cuts deep. 
And people don't like to feel hurt. They don't like the truth because the truth hurts, but the truth shall set you free. It will take the veil from off of your eyes and let you see the truth and let you see the world for how it really is. But people want the truth. They say they want the truth, but then when they get the truth, they don't like it and they reject it. So then they turn to the God of this world, lowercase g God, and then they want to live in their own oblivion. And last but not least, Yahshua preaches God's will. Okay, it's not our will, but it's God's will. Matthew chapter 7, 21 says, Not everyone who loves me and who says, Not everyone who says to me, Lord, Lord, will enter the kingdom of heaven, but the one who does the will of my Father who is in heaven. So that tells you right there, if you're not doing the will of God, then you're not entering into heaven. If you're doing your own thing, you're doing what you want to do and you're choosing and that's the beauty of it. God gave us free will. Yes. But with that choice comes with consequences. And that's where Yahshua HaMashiach comes in because he's letting you know, yes, you have free will. That's like me saying, you know, you can have candy all day long if you want. You don't have to wake up and eat breakfast. You can do whatever you want to do. But just know, if you choose to do this over here, you're going to feel good. You're going to be healthy. And then you can have your you can have candy after all of this stuff. You'll get the candy, but there's an order in how you have to do it because I'm trying to help you live longer. I'm trying to help you have a better, healthier life. I don't want you to be obese and have health issues. So this is how you have to do it. And then you can get the candy or I could say or you can do it this way. You can have candy whenever you want to. You can have it in the morning, evening and the night. But with that, you will have obesity. You will have diseases. You will have sickness. You will feel like crap. And you probably won't even be able to run, play, do the things you want to do because you're going to be in such poor health. But you can't complain about the end of that because you inevitably chose that path. That's the will that you chose. That's the same thing as God is giving us. He gave us free will to make a decision and a choice. Life and death. Got it? Got it. So again, let's run through the facts with Jesus of the world. He came to bring unity. He is forgiving of everyone. He's praised by false apostles and is widely accepted and loved by the world. Remember what God said about, you know, the wide path and the narrow path and the narrow gate. How the wide road is open for everyone and then the narrow gate is hard to find, but only if you find it and it leads to life. Praised by false apostles and is widely accepted and loved by the world. This sounds a lot like the agenda that they're trying to push, which is a very Luciferian agenda where they're trying to make it to where everyone is under one umbrella. Like everything is very watered down. So it's not just biblical anymore. It's very watered down. You can do whatever you want as long as it's not the biblical way of thinking. It's not as narrow minded as some would say. So that's why we have to be very vigilant. We have to understand what exactly is going on. If you're not reading your word, you are going to be so lost in this world. Speaks on peace, love, prosperity, abundance, great wealth, and nothing else. Comes to bring peace to the world. Will come to save the world. And we're talking about the Jesus of this world. He will come to save the world. Well, we know in the Bible that Jesus already overcame the world. We are all, we already have won the victory. So the next time that Yahshua HaMashiach comes back is to wipe out and banish all the wicked. So this does not align with scripture. That's how you know that this is of this world. They're saying, oh, Jesus is going to come back to save us. The Jesus that they're talking about is the Antichrist. That's who they're saying. And they're never going to literally say you're worshiping, you're worshiping Satan. Satan doesn't just come in the form of his name. He comes under several different names, okay? That doesn't sound so intimidating and it comes as like, it doesn't sound that bad because he comes in the form of a light. He comes in the form of a savior. Oh, the world just needs saving. Oh, somebody save us. This world is just crazy right now. And we need someone to come and save us. Oh, I'm gonna show you signs and wonders. I am the savior of the whole world. I am the giver of salvation. By my stripes, you are healed. And that is literally 
scripture that Satan uses to get believers thinking that he is Yahshua Hamasiah, but he's not. Make suggestions, but ultimately it's up to you. He's a hipster kind of Jesus and he promotes the worship of self. What do you think is best for your life? What do you feel? Go off your feelings. What do you think is best for you, for your life? And what do you think is best for you? Do you feel like that's the right choice? Do you feel like this? Do you feel like that? And God tells us in his Bible and in his word and, you know, all of that, that we are not supposed to always go off of our feelings. Yes, when we have gut feelings, we're supposed to listen to them. But if we don't feel like praying in the morning, does that mean we're not supposed to pray? No, because God teaches us to be disciplined. He teaches us, if you don't feel like getting up work in the morning, just call off. You don't have to go in. No, you need to go to work because you need to go get money and you need to be disciplined. I don't feel like being nice to this person today. Well, you don't need to be around people today then. It's like we can't always go off of how we feel. We are not children, okay? And this world wants us to be so much focused on the Jesus of this world. Do what you want to do. It's okay. Everything is accept accepting. It's not good to not like other people. Be kind to other people. Forgive other people. Love one another. Love your brother. Love your sister. But then there's God who tells us if they're walking in darkness, then we don't need to be hanging around people who are unequally yoked with unbelievers. We don't need to be unequally entangled with unbelievers. And it's just so much deception and so much confusion going on. So many people don't know the difference between the two. And then a lot of people are pushed away from the gospel because there's so much confusion that they're thinking that they're worshiping a deity, which a lot of Christianity is a deity because they're not worshiping Christ Jesus who is in heaven, Yahshua. They're not worshiping him, the one true and only living God. They are worshiping the God of this earth, the God of this realm. If you're seeing a lot of preachers, pastors, um, who else? Singers, rappers, whoever is highly promoted on TV and they're talking about Jesus, 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 Jesus. TV and mass media never promote anything that is highly beneficial to us because the, they don't care about the masses. They just want to confuse us. They want to blind us. They want to keep us in a state of fear and panic and just wondering what is the truth. And the truth is never on TV, okay? If you want to find the truth, the truth is in the word. And the truth is a lot of times very much hidden on TV. They hide a lot of things in plain sight. And a lot of people are falling away from the faith and a lot of people are confused because they don't know the truth. And the truth is in the gospel and the gospel is the word of God. Do God's will. Okay. I hope that that helped clear up some stuff. Just know that there is agenda that is being pushed and it's not for your good at all. It's just making the way for the Antichrist who is already here among us. And I feel like that is why we're seeing so much hate and corruption and death and sickness and diseases and plagues and crazy weather and all of this stuff that's going on because God is not pleased. He will not be mocked. Okay. You can't just do all of these things and think that they're not going to have a consequence to them. There is a such thing as heaven and hell. And if you're going to be serving the God of this world, then you're going to die with him in this world in eternal, eternal hell. And that's something a lot of people shy away from because a lot of people don't want to preach the truth because they're in fear that they're going to lose their churches. A lot of people are in fear that they're not going to have the money to be able to support their businesses if they speak the truth. And the truth hurts and nobody wants to hear it. So a lot of people steer away from it. But this is the truth. Compare it to the word of God. Read your Bible. Then come talk to me. Then you can leave a comment under this video. Okay? Now, if you made it this far, please leave your praise and worship hands in the comment section. Um, shout out to my subscribers out there who are new. And for the person who requested this video, shout out to you. Because I feel like this is a great time to re-promote this video, to have this video out again. Um, the old one, I will probably try to link it down below somehow. Um, if not, definitely look for it because I have it. I recorded a video about this before. And I want you guys to also look up my video that I have on yoga because that is another thing that is a part of this mass confusion, confusion and deception that they have going on right now for the masses. There is only way to the Father and that is through the Son. 
and make sure that you know who that son is. Okay? I love you guys so much and I will see you guys in another video. Mwah.